that he joined us this evening. Although we continued our regular routine of, of singing and playing music throughout uh, the three weeks, um, I felt that particularly this Shabbat, Shabbat Chazon, as uh, we enter the nine days, which is the next level of, of, of a loot, uh, deeper level of mourning of the destruction of our temple. So I figured, well, maybe it would make sense that we won't use instruments this week and we'll do it in a more traditional way, just use our voices. And uh, we have two chazanim, so we definitely don't need music. And uh, we'll get started with Yadid Nefesh, as we usually do. Please sing along. Yeti nefesh avarachaman meshoch avdecha el letzonecha yarutz avdecha kemo. Did I 
Welcome everybody to this very, very special Kabbalah Shabbat with both Cantor Chaim Burson and Cantor Ragansky. Today, Kabbalah, did I pronounce it wrong? Rogoznitsky. Raganitsky, okay. Close. Definitely. Raganitsky. This is sponsored um, by Janie and Dr. Robert um, Schwalbe in commemoration of the Yurtzit of Bob's mother, Hannah Schwalbe, and Terry and Dr. Massimiliano Schultz commemorating the Yurtzit of Massimo's mother, Clara Meisner Schultz, Clara Necha Bat Avraham. Aleha Shalom. And now we return back to our cantor person. Okay, I'd like to turn it over to our special guest, Chazan Cantor, Benny Rogoznitsky. I think I got it right. And uh, <laughs> it's such an honor once again to have you with us. Please take it away. Thank you so much, Cantor Burson. Thank you so much to the KJ community and the Park East community. I want to begin by recognizing Rabbi Luxtein, Rabbi Laniato, uh, Rabbi Schneier, and a special refuah shleimah to Mrs. Elizabeth Schneier, who went through surgery and Baruch Hashem is recuperating, but uh, hopefully is uh, logging in as we speak and enjoying this Kabbalah Shabbat. So before we start Lechun Aran and I wanted to start with the Nigun. You know that on the high holidays, before you start the Amidah, there's always a short Nigun that prefaces it. On this Shabbos, there's a question of whether in fact you're supposed to sing or not because it's Shabbat Chazon. And many communities don't sing anything. But Hasidim don't believe in the morning on Shabbos. So they sing everything. So I want to sing with you the Bredich of Enigin, the song that is attributed to, Rav, to the Rav of Bredich of Levi Yitzhak. So please join in with me. <speaking in Hebrew> We will continue now. Definitely one of my favorite nigun and a really such a deep nigun. It really gets you into the the spirit. Shirula 
Im Ruba Goi, Madonna, Heimann, Lach, Hafti, Conte, Fehl, Balti, Mohot, Ja, Dinamim, Bemesharim. Ismechu, Ashamayim, Vetagel, Aretz, Iram, Hayam, Umelo, Ja, Lo, Sadai, וכל אשר בו, אז ידננו כל עצי יער. לפני אדוני קיבה, קיבה לשפוט הארץ, ישפוט תבל וצדק. אדוני מלאך תגל הארץ, ישמחו איים רבים, ענן ורפל זיוב, צדק ומשפט מכל כיסוי. צוצרות וקול שופר, הריגו לפני המלך אדוני. ירם הים ומלואו תבל ויושב איבר. שמחה וחה, יחד הרים ירננו. לפני אדוני איבה לשפוט Thank you. 
You see, we both ended with the same motif we started with, which is the Inyana Diyoma, which is always our fun and creativity as Chazanim to really try to tie everything together and bring it in in some unexpected uh, places as well, which keeps it interesting and inspiring. Um, Chazan Benny, once again, thank you so much for, for joining us and honoring us with your presence tonight. Um, if there's anything you'd like to share with us, the stage is yours. Um, you have so many years of experience and so much that you've done as a Chazan and for the world of Chazanut. Please. Thank you. It's really, really wonderful to be here. And what's amazing is as much as uh, the virus has separated people, because so many people even tonight are sitting at home, our members not necessarily ready yet or confident enough to come to shul. What this Zoom has done for us and Facebook and all the other mediums where people are watching is it's an ability to connect. And even us on a regular Friday night, we would each be leading services in our respective congregations. But here is an opportunity to come together while separate. And that to me is the story of music. Because what music can do is you can have a thousand people in shul and everybody has a different opinion. But when you start to sing, it unites people. And so my hope and prayer during these nine days is that we don't stop singing and that we pick up the Hasidic uh, uh, custom, which is to sing on Shabbos and to bring joy. It could be songs of sadness and songs of hope. But you sang the, the, the nigan of Sheyibana Beis Hamikdash, right? That, that's the nigan you sang at the beginning of Mizmor David, which is the prayer that every Jew has, that God should reunite us, our families, our people in the land of Israel. So thank you again for this opportunity and let's continue to sing. Thank you so much. And uh, I'd like to... Hand the mic over to Rabbi Lukstein. You're unmuted. Uh, Hazen Benny, a big, big yeshakoach. It's so nice that uh, Hazen Bersan invites his friends and colleagues to share in uh, our Friday nights. And uh, I, I have an, uh, an unexpected benefit because I can't go to shul yet. I'm in that vulnerable uh, group the most vulnerable group, so I'm not going to shul. So here I am, and Baruch Hashem, I've had a chance to speak to everybody uh, a short Dvar Torah uh, on Parshas HaShavua, and I'm happy to do it, and I'm inspired by both Chazonim tonight and the creativity in Shabbat Chazon to be able to sing, but to reflect the mood of Shabbat Chazon. The parsha for Shabbat Chazon always is Parshat Devarim. And in Parshat Devarim, leading off the whole uh, fifth book of the Torah, Moshe is giving an extended farewell address to Bnei Yisrael. It's actually a little bit like a living will provided by Moshe Rabbeinu to his people, his students, in a sense, his children. He begins by saying that he couldn't do the whole job of leadership himself. He learned that from his father-in-law, Yisro. And so he appointed anashim chachamim unavonim, wise and perceptive leaders to lead the people and resolve their disputes. Now listen to his first charge to those leaders. Shamoa ben Achechem. Listen to your brothers. Ushafat Tem Tzedek. And judge fairly and righteously. Ben Ish between one person and another. 
This is, as one modern parshan put it, much more than an instruction to judges. It's a model for all of us for living, for living a just and fair life in the land B'nai Yisrael will be entering and in the society that they will be building or that we will be building wherever we live. Shamoa ben achichem. Listen to your brothers. Pay attention to what they are saying. Don't retort to those who have an opinion that's different from yours and say to them, I hear you, I hear you. That's not listening. That's rejecting. Another word in Hebrew for listening is ha'azinu. It's actually the name of uh, a parsha at the end of Sefer Devarim. Ha'azinu means to listen, and it comes from the word ozen, ear, and from the root izun, which means balance. Moznayim are scales. If we want to have a balanced society, one person has to listen intently to the other. Even when the other disagrees with the one who's listening, that's the way to create izun, balance in society and peace among ourselves. Pay attention to what the other person is saying. It's why perhaps God created us with two ears and one mouth. One should speak half of what one hears and listen doubly. How many of us speak doubly and hear only half of what another person says? Well, but he's wrong. He's blind. He doesn't see the truth. How can I listen to his nonsense? Note Moshe's full instruction. Shamoa ben achichem. Listen to your brothers. If you recognize the next person as your brother or sister, you will listen twice as intently as you speak, because he's your mishpacha, he's your brother or she's your sister. Rav Shlomo Chaim Aviner taught us about Ahavat Yisrael in the lesson he learned from Rav, Yitz, Rav Abraham Yitzchak HaKohen Kuk Zecher Tzadik Levrocha. We must love every Jew, perhaps every human being, especially the one with whom we disagree, because it's no trick to love the person with whom you agree. The trick is to be able to love and listen to the person with whom you disagree. This was the first instruction in Moshe's living will. We should try to pay attention to it in these divisive and difficult times in which we are living. Shabbat Shalom. You want me to give another drusha? <laughs> okay, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Daniyadu. Okay, so we continue with Lechad Odi. As Armin Hag, the custom is on Shabbat Chazon.
to sing Lechadovi to the tune of Elitzion.
Leven pahar zivere, nismecha ben agila, lecha dodi, likrat kala. Enei Shabbat nekabela. Ay, boi b'shalom. מטרת בעלה, גם בשמחה ובצהלה, תוך חמוני עם סגולה, בואי חלה, בואי חלה, לך דודי, אהי לקראת כלה, פני שבת, נקה בלבניה. Thank <laughs> יישר כוח, יישר כוח, שבת שלום. That was a really beautiful, both Cantor Burson and Cantor Rogesnitsky. Um, really, really beautiful. I don't know if I've, I ever would have the opportunity of walking into your Beit Knesset and hearing you, um, and now I've had the opportunity, and really moving, beautiful way to enter into Shabbat. It really is a way to bring us all together. And on that uplifting note, um, we have four births to announce um, to our community, four new babies joining our community, um, watching them in Mazal Tov and their families. To Deborah and Barry Berg upon the birth of a granddaughter, Sloan Ruthie, born to their children, Zachary and Marissa Berg, and joining big brother William. Mazel Tov as well to Marissa's parents, Beth and Abe Rosenberg, and to the proud great grandparents, Lily Goldberg and Jerry and Sandra Feinberg. Also to Edith and Salman Lepiner upon the birth of a great grandson, Yosef Mordechai, born to their, gra to their grandchildren, Ziva and Noah Edelsberg. Also to Miriam and Aaron Levine, upon the birth of a daughter, Rose Ariel. Joining big siblings, Gabrie Gabrielle and Eva, Mazal Tov as well to the proud grandparents, Esther and Ira Krawitz and, and Leah and Buzzy Levine. And also to Sandra Swilowitz and Aurora Casserer, upon the birth of a grandson born to their children, Rebecca and Michael Rubin, Mazal Tov as well to the proud grandparents, Rose Casserer. Kes um, now passing it back to our um, cantor, Chaim Bersin, um, who will announce our special Yigdal singer. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Laniato. It's always good to share smachot. The more, the better. Keep them coming. Um, I'd like to uh, uh, sing a Yigdal uh, this evening. Um, also one, we don't have that many melodies that we use on Tisha B'Av, but this is a special... Uh, KJ melody that I had the opportunity to learn last year, and I think it works uh, well for Yigdal. Yigdal Elohim Chai Ve'yishtabach Nimtza ve'ein etel metziuto Echad ve'ein yachid ke'yichudo Ne'lam ve'gam ein tzof le'achtuto אין לו דמות תגוף ואינו גוף, לא נערוך אליו קדושתו. קדמו לכל דבר אשר נברא, ראשון ואין ראשית לראשיתו. הנו אדון עולם לכל נוצר, יורה גדולתו ומלכותו. שפר נבואתו נתנו, אל אנשי סגולתו ותפארתו. 
לא קם בישראל כמשה עוד, נביא ומביט את תמונתו, הורת אמת נטה לעמו אל, על יד נביאו נאמן ביתו. לא יכל יפעל ולא יעמיד דתו לעולמים לזולתו. צופה ויודע שאת ערבינו מביט לסוף דבר בקדמתו. גומל לאיש חסד כניפה לו, נותן לרשע רק כרישתו. ישלח לקץ הימין משיחנו, לפדות מחכי קץ ישועתו. מתים יחייל ברוב חסדו, ברוך עדי עד שם תהילתו. מתים יחייל ברוב חסדו. ברוך עדי עם שם תהילתו. Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Yishar Koach, thank you again to our special guest Chazan, Kantor Benny Rogoznitsky from Park East, Rabbi Laniado, Rabbi Lukstein, and all of you who joined us. And Bezrat Hashem, hopefully next week already we will celebrate together Birushalayim Avnuya. In person, not over Zoom. Shabbat Shalom. Rabbi Laniado, if you want to unmute everyone. Shabbat Shalom, I'm going to unmute everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Everybody just shoot me off. So much miss, everybody. Hopefully we'll see everybody again soon. Can't wait to. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.